the Eel Festival began with Neil Murray uh, wanting to have a walk across the country. Neil Murray being a singer-songwriter who lives in Lake Bolle. And this is the fifth year it's been going. So he was very keen to walk across country as though there were no fences like the early Indigenous people did for thousands of years. The Healing Walk is inspired by the fact that Indigenous people use these waterways as pathways all through the land. And we try to emulate the way they had a dialogue with the country as they moved through it. So he got a group of people together to develop that process and I happened to be part of that because they were walking right past our house. So I got involved right in the early stages and that was the beginning of the Lake Bowl Lake Eel Festival. And Neil's idea was just to have a walk up to the lake from the sea and sit down on the edge of the lake and have a bit of a jam session and a bit of a barbecue. I feel privileged to be on this walk because it takes me back to where my old people used to roam along these rivers with the hunting and the gathering and, and just to reconnect to the homelands, what my people used to roam on is dear to my heart. Lake Bolak used to be a really important meeting place for early Australians where they used to come and gather around the shores of the lake after the opening rains every year. And that was when the eels began their life cycle heading out to sea. Because the eels were plentiful, there was plenty of food. It's also a border area for a number of different tribes, so they'd all gather here and they'd have weddings and ceremonies and lots of partying going on. You could just imagine, years ago, you'd found campfires all around this lake mm. and people would have been having festivities like we've got here, like the uh, great meetings for uh, cultural exchange, for weddings, for a gathering of eels and food and also for trade. In a small way, we're trying to emulate that gathering of people who are interested in the environment and the social aspects of having fun is what the Eel Fest was all about. I think in the first year, we were viewed with suspicion and amazement by a large proportion of the population who wondered what earth we were doing. They were used to the BNS ball, which is held over on the other side of the lake, but this was something quite different. Because the whole point of the festival is to draw attention to the issues of the environment and the waterways and the lake, and also the Indigenous issues and the history of the district, the forum is a good way to collect some thoughts from various people. So we've had various topics over the years, but all around environmental issues. This year it was climate energy in the future. We've invited keynote speakers Mark Wooten of Jigsaw Farms and Neil Hansen of Futurist. And they had two very different takes on the topic and I think that drew a lot of appreciative comment from the audience. And I'd argue that Australia is the most vulnerable developed country to the ravages of climate change. Everyone's on different levels of awareness, so having got that connection in whatever form it is, and whether it's people from the city who are walking on our walk, they can come out and they are caring for the country and they're walking across the country very gently. On the Healing Walk, I was fortunate to be able to walk across Bori Alex Station, which is a property my grandfather managed early last century. So it was rather nice to be able to see that and think about where maybe my, my father might have grown up when he was a little boy and played games and, and walked across paddocks, so it was pretty nice. It's always a very emotional time for us to come here and stand here. Your imagination could just envisage how it would have been in the old days. They would have had all the groups, the family clans would have been all around the, around the edge of the lake. It's great to see that they get Aboriginal people involved because we have a vast knowledge to offer to the general community in so far as conservation of our traditional homelands, our spirit lands. And we want to preserve it as close as possible to its original state. The evidence of Aborigines with the scar trees and tools and things that are found along the waterways and that the walkers come across is evidence that they've been a strong and a long history of Indigenous occupation here. We as white farmer landowners or land managers have a connection to the country because we've been farming it and often long and strong family histories, putting in trees and building houses and rearranging our farms the way we want to. It's a very important connection and that's one of the aspects of the Eel Festival that we're trying to develop and improve knowledge of is this connection with the country. And if you've got connection with the country then you can start caring for the country better or caring for the country full stop. Mm -hmm.